Hello and thank you for joining me here at DJ's Movie Reviews. I write short movie reviews for people with short attention spans. Please note that spoilers are always possible. Do me a favor and stay to the end of this video for some public service announcements. And click the subscribe button, like the video, hit the bell icon to be notified when I release content, and as always, comment. Let me know what movie you would like for me to review next. Today's movie is called The Way Back. This movie was directed by Gavin O'Connor, who also directed the movies The Accountant, Warrior, Pride and Glory, and Miracle. This movie stars Ben Affleck from Justice League, Al Madrigal from Night School, Janina Gavankar from Blind Spotting, Michaela Watkins from Britney Runs a Marathon, Brandon Wilson from Beyond the Lights, Jeremy Radden from Funeral Day, Matthew Glaive from First Man, and John Elward from A Million Ways to Die in the West. The plot of this movie is that Jack Cunningham was a high school basketball phenom who walked away from the game, forfeiting his future. Years later, he reluctantly accepts a coaching job at his alma mater. He may get one last chance at redemption. What I think. Ben Affleck's character, Jack Cunningham, is a construction worker with a drinking problem, working long hours during the day in an attempt to distract from everyday life. It looks like life has handed him the short end of the stick until he's given another chance, receiving a call that would bring him back from the brink of self-destruction. The opportunity to become a high school basketball coach at the school that he had once attended is on the table. He gets to take over the team after the regular head coach has a heart attack and is unable to continue for the rest of the season. This movie has several stories within it. The main story has more to do with Jack's personal life and how he deals with it. The second story has to do with his job as a coach for the kids of his old high school and what he must do to form them into a winning, well-oiled machine. He must also overcome his demons to take over the team and figure out how best to become a leader who inspires while at the same time pushing them to become responsible adults. The third story, I'm going to leave that as a surprise because this little detail threw me off while I was watching the film. There are many obstacles in the way and Jack put them there himself throughout the whole movie. What I like about this movie is the fact that it shows an extreme amount of emotion from extreme highs to extreme lows. With as heavy as the drama is, there are some moments of levity, but there are also moments of absolute despair. Ben Affleck did a fantastic job of conveying this story. Al Madrigal, who is more known for his comedy, delivered a very dramatic performance while also providing much needed laughs. Throughout the heartbreak, triumph, losses, and gains, this movie pushes us through the thickness of addiction, love, hate, and death, while at the same time guiding us down the path to a safe place that gives us time to catch our breath. And for that, I thank them. With enough heart, you can pull yourself out of your head and straighten yourself out just long enough to make someone proud. But on the polar opposite, you can try it just hard enough to push everyone away. So don't do that. With all the highs and lows throughout this film, if it's drama that you're looking for, then you found it. And for that, this movie gets four of five stars. As I stated before the video started, I said to stay tuned for some PSAs from public service announcements. So here's the first one. If you or someone that you know is struggling with an alcohol addiction, take today to climb the steps to sobriety with Alcoholics Anonymous. Go to their website, https colon slash slash aa dot org. And that'll take you to the website so that you can help someone you know, or maybe even yourself. Also, if you need someone to talk to in your time of need, if you're having thoughts of hurting yourself or others, know that there's always someone there to hear you out. And it is just a phone call away. Use the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. You can get a hold of them through their webpage or call toll free 1-800-273-8255. In Espanol, 1-800-628-6248. And for the deaf 
or hard of hearing 1-800-799-9889. Be someone's light in their dark times. Now that I've gotten that out of the way, note that every movie that I've mentioned in this video, you can find in the description, as well as those public service announcements. Discover new films to add to your collection or learn about films that you've never heard of. Thank you very much for joining me. Be sure to subscribe, hit the like button, hit that notifications icon to get content every time I release it, and be sure to leave a comment. I really want to know what you think of this movie or any movie. Good to see you again here at DJ's Movie Reviews. I'll catch you next time.